it's time for one of those episodes. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Doomer and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, so off camera, actually, um, a certain someone moved out the town. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep this outfit, actually. And as you can see, we were paid an amount for them. <laughs> yeah, if it ain't obvious, um, we may or may not have um, sold a certain villager for a very amount of Nook Miles. Which, um, now they're gone, we kind of have a tra tradition here. When we have enough Nook Miles, we can, um, we can go to islands. And, uh, we can, we can, you know, find villagers which we think are, you know, pretty interesting. I, I think you know where we're going with this, but first, I, I need my bonus miles, okay. You know, but yeah, we sold Raymond. Um, just, just off camera, you know. I had a choice between either making a selling Raymond video, um, and kind of missing the ability to go village hunting, and just having these lying around forever. Or, alternatively, I could just be like, you know, you know what, just, you know, send it. So yeah, it's weird seeing an empty plot for once, I'll be honest. But we have, I believe this is a hundred Nook Miles. I sold the guy on Nookers on, um, I put him up for ten, um, ten Nook Miles originally. Like, yeah, you know, I, I would start low and see how it went in. And I saw it, it was like on ten for a while, so some went for ten. And then some went for thirty, and then it went to fifty, and then seventy, and it ended up on a hundred. Which was like, you know, whoa. Like, and I know, I suppose I've never really noticed how kind of... I'm not sure what the word is, but like, how kind of people still want him, it's, uh, it's one of those weird things where it's like, you know, I didn't notice it, but, uh, yeah, he's still, uh, pretty popular, it seems. And I'm just, uh, a spooky fencing, why do I still have that? Uh, does that give me, no, I need some one more thing to make space, um, business suit cat, oh, nah, it's, this stuff really isn't, um, yeah, my, I've got the hedge fence just kind of chilling up there, um, what's all those two tree branches? Um, look at all the fine things you've brought in, and they can buy them from, we don't, we don't care about money. As long as it ain't giving me money banks, I'm fine. And now... Yeah, we're doing exactly what you think we're doing. Uh, the first three, I'm just going to commentate live. Um, we're going to see what villager we can get. Now, my only criteria is that I like said villager. Again, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to take some time, which... Uh, hmm. Actually, it's been a while since I've recorded a video at 4pm in this game. It's kind of a shame that um, I didn't do a selling Raymond video. <laughs> but, you know, I think villager hunting would do better. And, uh... Yeah, maybe. Who do I put in the thumbnail? I think if we have Raymond peeking over the edge, you know, it's technically topical to the video. Ah, uh, Tad's kind of chilling. But uh, the, the main aim here, right, is that in these 100 look miles, um, it, it holds up to 200,000. Um, mind you, the person I was um, selling him to just had to print all those off manually. Could, could not imagine doing that. The most I've had is like 20. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's get down to it. Uh, use look miles ticket. First time I've used one of these for a while. Yeah, time for takeoff. No, no reason to really wait around. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the first view because I found the trend in the first video of this I did, where um, basically whenever I seem to be like commentating live, um, rather than just like you know cutting between them all, I seem to get a lot more interesting villagers. Which um, you know, alternatively, this could either take up the whole episode or it could take up very little of the episode. It depends who we get. If I get a villager, which I'm like, you know, 100% I want this, then <laughs> it's over and we can have our, um, you know, our video. Um, it'd be an interesting little video for certain. And, oh, I will go speak to them. So I think that's Dizzy. Oh, Eloise. Oh, there's a fresh face. Are you visiting from another island as well? Of course you are. Well, my friends call me Eloise, and you are. Uh, Daniel, all the way from Jeffrey, even. Isn't that fascinating? Well, we may only be here a short time, but I do hope you get to know each other better. You don't need to know this about me yet, but I'm always down to dish, darling. Okay, so first person is a, uh, a pass. I think I think we've definitely got enough of those villager types on the island. Um, ideally, right, I want to say this now. I want a villager... Um, like, when I'm back, I'll show you the map. Um, the, shall we say the, the gender ratio is um, not very even. Like, Are there, are there any... Female, there's two female villagers, and they're both of the same species. I think and that's it. So, um, needless to say, um, <laughs> I would I would like another one just to like kind of spice things up because I think all of them are cats. I ain't taking any cats home. No, we've just got rid of one. We don't need another. Um, to be fair, I'm interested in. I am um, honestly couldn't tell you. Um, however, I, I don't fancy pulling things up on my computer, so I'm gonna use a, a weird function in Pocket Camp. I'm just going to boot this up while we um, go between areas. I'm just going to turn volume down super quick. 
just updated my uh, Pocket Gump game recently. Yeah, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the contacts thing in there, and I'm just going to look through the villages which I think are, you know, particularly interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, looking at the title screen now, you know, I, I fancy a penguin maybe, cube looks pretty cool, um, rabbit if they look decent, and is this the same island? Oh. Oh. Right. I'll be honest. I've never had sushi. But even I can appreciate how that guy looks. Alright. Shit. Second island, and we get, like, one of the most popular villagers in the entire game. What? Alright. Hello, good sir. Zucker. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Zucker. Cool. So you're Daniel from Jaffa? Man, that's real cool. Let's have some fun while we're here together. Bloop. If I speak to him again, I have to make the decision. Mind you, we have... How many tickets do we have? Um, 98 tickets left. A normal human would just kind of go, you know, eh. Right, I'm going to make the decision now. I'm just going to kind of chill on screen for a bit. Uh, pocket caps loaded. Um, yeah, there's a little contacts feature in that game. And you can kind of go through and look at people that you think are interesting. And, yeah, if I'm, like, excluding all cats, some people I'd fancy, um, I almost read out Kid Cat them. <laughs> that would have been a yikes. You know, I'm, I'm just scrolling through, um, I think June and Drift would be quite nice. Um, Morong, definitely. Um, Pietro. Ah, Pietro. Love that guy. Um, you know, there's so many people which I would like, but Zuka seems like... I'm not sure how to describe it, but he's... I feel as though he definitely belongs on my little bizarre island, if you want to say, say it like that. Can I get my thumbnail shot, please? Thank you. Just gonna, uh, snag that. So, yeah, you gotta go look at the thumbnail somehow. Do we, do we really go for Zucker on the second island? Um, this island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I could stay here forever, pointing at stuff saying, that's nature. Man, it'd be real neat to live on an island like this. Full time, I mean. Just living life pointing at nature. Hmm. I, octopuses are pretty, like, you know, few and far between in this, this series. You know what? He definitely seems like a different type of villager. Does he want to come to mine? Huh, you live on Jaffa, right? Is it like this there too? No, well, not anymore. Um, well, then I want to go. If your aunt's as cool as you, then I want to go. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, what should I do to move to Jaffa? So if I call you Mr. Tom Lucky, he'll tell me everything. Thanks, I'll call him and say hi. So this is the best day since I found out what Peschetti was. It's also my favourite day since I found out what a Peschetti was too. Ah, it's weird. Um, Island 2. <laughs> that is... Alarmingly so, a very small amount of villagers went through. But I, I dare say, right, that was like if we talk about villagers, which I find like you know interesting. They're like nice tall cat. They've got a decent personality going. You know, they're not they're not a cat. <laughs> you know, we didn't get the uh, female villager we were looking for. Like, look at this, right? Put on the map. Look at this. There's two of them on the whole island. It's um, a ratio of what? Two to nine. Soon, soon to be two to ten. That's a, that's twenty percent. I I I would mass. You know, I, I can do very simple ratios. So, what do we do for the rest of the episode then? Um, Ray, Raymond's moved out. Um, you know, Cole's chilling. What 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 do we what do we do exactly? Right, because my thumbnails for this, I just put every villager I encountered on the thumbnail. So we're gonna have Eloise, Zucker. We're gonna have Raymond because he moved out. Who else do I put on the thumbnail? Desperate times to call for desperate me measures. And um, also, I'm interested in this, okay? Um, this might break the game, so do stick around. But there is a certain villager I've been holding out and inviting until I did this episode. You know, I have uh, a concerning amount of Nook Miles tickets. But, um, as well, you know, I've invited Rold twice to my campsite. And now I've got someone moving in. That makes all the plots currently full. So I want to know, can I have him move in when Zook is moving in? Or will this brick my game? <laughs> it, it sounds, you know, absurd, but technically, you know, we can shove roll on the thumbnail to it. That's four people. Alright, roll here. Have my steps, we'll travel. Oh, visit your campsite. Well, sure, I'll swim over as soon as I finish my protein shake, Boo Woody. Smile. Look at him. <laughs> Can't wait to have him back on my island. Need a sporty villager. You know, Tad's kind of chilling. 
Oh, oh god, this does, this does propose the question of who do I replace though? Because this is the third time inviting him. And the third time you invite someone, you have to kick someone off your island if you want them to move in. I'm not sure if like the cycle resets if you say no or not. And yeah, I'd say uh, the island is getting in pretty in season. I must say, I just uh, just noticed that town hall's been decorated up. Um, but let's go. We got to craft a missile, a piece of furniture that can fill some time. And ooh, we can um, get those things that we were looking into ordering and chop down some more trees once we throw the milk mouse ticket somewhere. Because um, yeah, for those of you that may be new and unacquainted with this series, we're currently working on trying to get an area ready to build like a kind of city-themed area or a hot springs. It's um, yeah, hey, I rolled. I just got back from a short 49 mile jog when your invite showed up. Thanks. I can detect a slight hint of sarcasm there. Alright, okay, I figured if I was going to test my limits, I need to get away from the comforts of home. Except I didn't know I'd end up homesick for a row machine. I love drawing machines in high school. Genuine tree standy. I'm on that. Okay. Yeah, I like drawing machines. Roll does have a point. Like, I'm not sure if this was anyone else's education. It certainly was mine. Um, but in PE, we had, like, just... In the later years, we just had, like, sessions where we went to the school gym. Like, you know, there were some treadmills, there were some cross trainers, there was rowing machines. And well, I would never go to the gym unless forced. I, I don't know why. I, I may just have, like, you know, s severe problems upstairs. But I really enjoyed going on the rowing machines. <laughs> like, it was sort of things like, hell yeah, feels like about that. Fun fair. You know, it's, it's, it's the worst ride there, but, you know, it was fun. Ah, oh, God, I miss going to the gym. I should really get in shape. <laughs> I mean... Oh, it's sad. Wrong terminal. Actually, no, we need to check milk shopping for a new KK song anyway. Um, now, in my, in my defence, because I was fired from the list... Not fired, I was uh, made voluntary redundant. I technically do have a free gym membership ongoing right now, so I kind of could just go to the gym. You know, I could, I could go to my fabled rowing machines. You know... Albeit I haven't been on one for a year and a half, but I've, you know. Oh, my pockets are too full. Excuse my rudeness. How? I'm, I'm still not over the fact that we have 98 of these. Like, because, again, printing these is so incredibly inefficient in this game that it's at the point where it's like, if you print 100 of them. Because, um, the person, I mentioned this, the person I was getting them from 100% had to spend time printing them. And I don't know how to put chat logs and lookers on after they've been closed. Well, let me tell you, it was quite a while from accepting it, to sending the dodo code, to them getting rid of a villager, to printing the things. I'd say it was about upwards of an hour. Um, I, I feel sorry for your wrists. That's, that's the only thing I can really say. Just, ow. <laughs> like, you know, that's an ouch from me, chief. Well, what else do you say to someone in that situation? I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you spent an hour printing up tickets in a game because there's no option to mass, like, order them. Like, even if you just let you order them by, like, the 10... Um, I think that'd improve the game a bunch. But yeah, we gotta mess around with rolled. Um, is there anything else which I wanna throw in now that is? Uh, the no mask can go in there. Um, red leaf pile could probably go in there too. Actually, actually, no, I'm gonna throw that down that side. Even though it's getting to winter, I do think it'll look quite nice. I'm not sure where it's gonna look nice, but it will look nice. Because I want it to. Do, 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 do. Okay, anyway, uh, so we gotta go back and craft that. Um, Tree standy, throw down some leaves somewhere. I'm thinking maybe near the campsite because I'm, I'm on that way and it's a bit barren over there besides the play equipment. And we'll go from there. And yeah, just a reminder, kind of middle of the video, if you're enjoying this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and whatnot. Uh, we try to upload these semi frequently. If, if you're wondering why the date has got such a disparity, I am like taking a little break from uploading Nintendo content, but I will still record it because I quite like being ahead. <laughs> and yeah, there's only one day where I can really go villager hunting. But yeah, I'd say we were I'd say we're having a grand old time. And yeah, um can finally check out if um know who's doing what. Um, we can see if Rolls actually planning on moving in. It'd be funny if I've done all this work to like, you know, test the limits of the game. Um and then, you know, like I'm trying to see what works, what doesn't work, and then uh, almost immediately it's like, eh. Like, I want to see if it gives me the option to have him move out Zucker. I'm not gonna do it obviously, but um I'm interested in what he's going to say now, because will he replace his thing? Because if that's the case, then that kind of just breaks the whole game. Right, how can I ever thank someone? He's going to give me his little, um... Oh, he's going to come up with a whole new workout routine in honour of my island. Oh, I guess I could just give you my Jester costume. I could be a fully-fledged clown. Ah. And you know what? I'm still going to come up with a new workout routine in honour of Jaffa. This place is too cool not to. And I'll believe if we talk to him. 
I'm gonna quest to take my fitness to the next level. By the time I'm done, I want my biceps to have biceps. Yeah, okay, it's just a general piece of text. I'm sure that someone on Jaffa would make something for me. Does anyone on Jaffa need a fitness coach, buddy? Sure do, move on in, please. Well, were you sure? I mean, living here would really help me take things to the level after next. Okay, I'm in local resident services and work it out with them. Moment of truth. Do I need to close my game to make sure I still get the penguin, man? Bad news, I checked some resident services and they said moving here was a no-go. There's not enough room on the island for me and my huge scary arms. Okay. If they say if someone moved out, I could move in. Mind if I try to, try to strike a deal with someone? Go for it. Candy, resident services told me a few folks to talk to. Who should I start with? Okay. Yep, so it is just these nine. That is interesting, but I'm also kind of for that. So, well, you look at, you look at this nice island, right? You look at the island. Where would a rolled fit? Because there's a few people I'm considering moving out. I, I've already quit Kid a few episodes ago. He, he said something funny, gave me a nice gift. I like say He's not being moved out. Ideally ever, unless worse comes to worse. Uh, Hamlet, I also said a few episodes ago, no. Cole, I've been keeping forever. Bob is infinitely replaceable. Um, the only people I'm thinking that I could get rid of are Tad and Queenie. And... I'm not sure where Queenie is, actually. I think they moved into Rold's old house, so I think we might as well just get the man back where his house is. Um, get rid of them. Talk to Queenie about moving out. You sure? Yep. Alright, I'm on it. Maybe it'll say no, but there's no harm in asking. That was, that, that was interesting. Like, they actually thought of that scenario where someone's moving in and you amiibo it up. Like, alright. Anyway, so they're gonna say yes, because this is an amiibo, and I paid for the privilege. Yeah. Yeah, but what sucks about the uh, thing about moving people in is that um, he forgets me every time I move him in. Um, I'm going to put... Um, actually, no, I'm just going to guess now. I'm going to say this is about the eighth time he's moved in through this campsite. Someone can probably corroborate that somewhere, but, you know. I found it to be interesting. I'm not sure about you, but the fact that the game was like, you know, you know, I see it. And we're going to go in and out just because I like, I like seeing them put the furniture up inside. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting that they thought that through. Like, obviously Zulka hadn't officially moved in, but I'm, I'm glad they did that. And there he is. He can hide behind the tree and he can do porps on the branches. He's drinking his Fanta too. Actually, you know what I want? Um, why I'm still in here. Um, villagers to actually drink, like, the drinks. Or, like, have them outside more. Like, it's one of those interactions that I like having enough. I've got to talk to him, so we did that. Breaks my heart. Anyway, um, I gotta throw down my leaf pile somewhere. Um... Why can I put this without making it look like I'm littering? Um, actually, we'll try on the Jester costume while we're here. <laughs> oh, you yeah, know, the gift that keeps on giving. Um, where, where's it at? Um, red leaf pile. Um, can I put it here without making it look as if I've littered? You know, I'd say that is uh, actually looking pretty cool. Hey, a Bob. He's eating a sandwich. Speak of villagers interacting. Alright, it's been a while since we've talked, I think. I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. Me and my jar of popcorn finally went bad. Don't know why, I keep it in a warm, damp place. Anyway, in my dreams we talked every night. Sometimes you had two heads, so I'm betting that right now is real. I mean, I am dressed up as a clown, are you sure about that? Ah, yeah, that's a nice little episode. I'm going to stick some more content at the end for those of you that want to stick around. Um, that's cool. Um, where is Queenie, actually? I didn't 100% know. Um, there, there. Yeah, that is exactly where Rold used to live. Um, yeah, like I said, um, once we're done with the area up there, or maybe we're waiting for more stuff to come in, and um, once we finish renovating it and we're just waiting for furniture, I'm thinking the next place I do up is around here. I'm not sure 100% what I'm going to do, but I would like to change this area up, because yeah, I'm not sure whether it will result in me moving the house, but I think over here definitely is in need of a touch-up. I just, I hate these flowers, the, these yellow ones. I'm not sure what to replace them with, but, um... You know, I, I, do, I do have some ideas which I want to try and see if it comes with. Yeah, I could, could, could actually uh, move some of these blue uh, wind flowers over there if it needs to be. And yeah. Oh, ooh, actually. Okay. Um, what, before I forget, I um, need to do this. Um, has there been any blue things? Hey, a punchy. Yeah. Now, nah, I just want to water these. You know, I might as well take the opportunity while I'm online. But I'd say that is a, um, a nice little conclusion to the uh, village hunting saga. I'll probably do it again, you know. Um, who knows how many islands I'm going to visit. Um, you know, it might be... Um, might be 10, might be 98. <laughs> and maybe in all of those 98, I won't find a single villager I like. 
like, I think there's only 400 villagers in the game, like 450. I would have seen almost 25% of the whole villagers the game has to offer, and I'm just like, nah, no sir. Okay. Um, okay, okay. So I've heard that song so many times, that radio, it always gets stuck in my head. Um, but yeah, um, talking about songs on the radio, I did order some stuff in for that project that we're working on way up north. So, um, I'm not focused on it too much, but there are some things I want to check out. So I need dinosaur fur, and I need cake area. Uh, one of these is quite obvious what I'm doing it for. Yeah, whenever I have something I ha haven't seen before, it's kind of like, you know, I might as well just pull it out of, uh, pull it out of the system and we'll hear how it sounds. So we're currently on KK Island. How does this sound? Okay, that definitely works as I walk out my house at the start of a video. Hmm. So I need to get a, um, a mini workbench for my home. J j just to make coming in here and grabbing stuff easier. Because, um, yeah, for those of you who are thinking, that's a bit stupid, why don't you have it? I, I know it's stupid. But, um, I need to find a thing. Uh, where are my customization kits? Here they are. Yeah, um, so the reason I grabbed that dinosaur is it is currently blue and white. And, well, you know, the cool is blue and white. They're pretty cool. What I would like is if there was the ability to customize it. And I'm not sure that's the thing. Um, like, I wish it was. But part of me is saying that only things you craft are customizable. So I I'm really hoping that isn't the case. Well, I'm not too big of a fan of those, um, those neon signs where, you know, you can get them in certain colors and they all look fine. But I'd really like to, um... I'd like to just go ahead and, uh... Oh, that hurts. Tell me I can't... That, ha that has to be different variants of that, though, right? Is there any way that I can, uh... I think I cataloged it, so I might be able to check. Uh, I want to do nook shopping. It's a shame that you can't uh, customise items. Like, especially when there's multiple variants of them. And this is a dinosaur, so we've got to go down a while. Um, yeah, some cypress bathtub, drink machine, I think. If you die in a sofa, it's here. Yeah, so you, you can't customise that. Uh. I guarantee you, like, you will be able to, it's just not right now. But yeah, I'm thinking of maybe having a little cafe area in this um, town area I'm thinking of. Like, I've got so many ideas, but I will need to take a few, like, hints and tips from YouTube to really make it pop. But, yeah, I just was a bit curious on that fact. But I think with that, um, we should probably wrap the episode up. Tad has been sat here the entire time, so you know what? I think I'm gonna switch out this Jester outfit because, I'll be honest, I ain't too fancy in it. And I am fancy in this, um, this new getup, though. You know, with the knit sweater and the head boppers and the eyes from Halloween. I'm down with that. We think it was over a whole month ago Halloween now. But yeah, we'll sit with Tad as we do the outro. But if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up, post to subscribe, send notifications, leave a comment down below. Uh, got a lot of content planned for Animal Crossing, you know. I'm trying to experiment a bit more with the customizing side of things right now. And yeah, hopefully um, you'll join me for it. Next time we're probably going to be speaking to Zucker for the first time. And um, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, sorry if a villager I used in the thumbnail wasn't per se in this video. Um, I, I did try to uh, get as many of them as possible, knowing myself. But, th you know, there'll be the odd villager, which I just didn't just wasn't able to grab in time um because <laughs> you know we, we found them in a record time that was insane but, but yeah so with all that said and all that aside food really i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching guys my name's been ramek and peace out